here at Edgebaston. Aaron Burns it'll be, and what a lovely start that is. A beautiful gift for Bryony Smith. How grateful she'll be to have received that. Not surprised she's smiling. Hammered away, shelled. It was hit very, very firmly. The wry smile on Burns' face knows that that should have been taken and the first wicket fallen. Beautiful shot, threaded through the offside. Just a little bit too short from Kirsty Gordon. Bryony Smith not missing out. Beautifully picked up as fairly raced off the middle of the bat into the deep mid-wicket boundary. And now that drop catch is looking rather painful for the Birmingham Phoenix. Beautiful shot. George Elwes into the attack and gets dispatched by Bryony Smith. First up. Front foot just goes slightly towards leg stump. Beautiful. Off the middle of the bat. Lent back a little in the shot, Hayley Matthews, but she manages to bisect cover points and extra cover. The boundaries keep flowing for the Welsh fire. And in the field. Yeah, that's beautifully played as well. Nothing more than a push, really, off the back foot. But it's the placement opening the hands for Walter Matthews. Up and over, and just beyond Emily Arlott. Runs coming at a very decent lick for the Welsh Fire. Power play is done, and they've got 36 on the board. Straight into the hands of mid-off. Matthews trying to force it away off the back foot. The introduction of Maxud pays dividend and how badly the Birmingham Phoenix needed that breakthrough. So slow and in the end she thought I can probably get this up and over mid-off off the back foot. Didn't time it well enough, got it off the bottom of the back. Nicely played, cleverly played, just opened the face, knew that the third man was up. Good shot, big shot, and just a release shot. Just been explaining, I think she's ticking a little bit and that's uh, just taking a little bit of pressure off. This is what she'd been looking for, the last few deliveries, just that release, finding the boundary, brilliant footwork. Full swing of the bat through the ball. Oh. Again, beautifully placed. Intentional shot. And they're going nicely now. And play. Oh, mix up. Complete mix up. Should be out. Yeah, simple. That's a good moment for the Phoenix because they were under a little bit of pressure. You really hope that goes for four because it should have done and it does it was uh, a bit of a gift Sarah Taylor not missing out just using the wrists and getting it behind square great catch terrific catch it was hit hard and Erin Burns been in good touch with the bat that is a, a vital wicket by Georgia men Redmayne albeit it was straight back at Erin Burns but to react and take it cleanly very good from her Good timing of the wicket as well for Burns and for Birmingham Phoenix. Oh, missed. I have to see whether there was any bat involved, but... Oh, that's close. Just outside the line, perhaps. I think it was, I think it was hitting. Oh, is he to the stumps? Yeah, pretty adjacent, that Dooley. Watch the reaction. Yes, there it is. Great review. Fantastic review. Used very well. I thought it looked close. Riding on this uh, player right here. She's got all the skills, has Sarah Taylor. And I think a lot of that 
30 or 40 runs will come down to her bat. Ball ah! too full, I think. Great work behind the stumps. Goodness me. It was incredibly quick. I mean, unbelievable wicket keeping. Got away with that, just dipped below the waist eye. Ooh. So quick, hands to the stumps. And that's a huge wicket for Birmingham Phoenix. Good to see the back of Sarah Taylor because she's such a good player. That is incredibly quick work from Amy Jones. What a piece of work behind the stumps that has got for that. That's a good bit of work. Not suits back. Yes, Katie. Work to do out on that boundary. Oh, just straight through the hands. Into the boundary for four. Chance, bowler's end. Oh! Yeah, yeah, that'll be gone. Brilliant work, great pickup, great throw, and very, very good work from Georgia Elwes getting back Coming to the stumps. Um, into the keeper, into, sorry, into the bowler, who Elwes got back to the stumps. Here we go. Oh! Great bit of fielding, good teamwork. That was a great replay, that, because it just hit one of those pitch areas, one of the rough areas on the pitch, oh. bobbled up. This is the best fielders going from leg side to leg side. Right, yeah. Spin bowled straight through, swing and a miss across the line. And Gordon has picked up a wicket. Here we go, left arm spin. Yeah. Oh, across the line, got too close to it. Straight through the gap, a great sight. And it's middle stump. Oh. Bowler's end chance. Oh, another one, another one. Is that out as well? Great work from the skipper, Amy Jones, behind the stumps. I think this has gone as well. Ah! Oh, outside the line, just out. Oh, no. Given. Given, use your review if you want. You've got one, haven't they? You've got a review. You've got to take it. I think that might have been just outside the line. I'm going to come back on screen. You have to overturn. You're on screen now. Yes overturn the original decision yeah and that's why the reviews are there no problem with that at all ah! oh that is close isn't it be leg buys i think but this oh they'll go again here amy jones is going to review this i'm sure she got the last one right yeah review it go on this crowd are really getting into ah! it coffee well, they are. It's been a great comeback from the Phoenix. Screen to you, so sorry, you're going to have to overturn the decision. Well, Kirsty Gordon's now the third leading wicket taker in the competition. Put away into the leg side gap. Katie Mack with some work. Should be another run out if they go. It will be comfortably, you think? Did she get there? I don't think she did. Amy Jones. The throw was a bit wide and she's missed the stumps. The only thing she's done wrong all day. Bryony Smith kicks things off. It's a hell of a thing when you're 17 years old, isn't it? Long on. Gone big again. This time, far more successfully. That's what the Birmingham public want to see from Shafali Verma. Dealing in big blows. This is a much better shot. She's actually hit that a lot better straight down the ground instead of shoveling it into the leg side. Held her shape a little better. We've seen that. Out in the deep, she's bisected the two fielders, and that's just going to kiss the surface and skid on the newness of the ball. That paint lacquer on top, it's just going to skim across. It's 4 more. Threaded through. Sublime looking shot. Has it got the power, the energy to get there? It does. Classic shot from Eve Jones. Look at the reach. Brilliantly done. It really is. Katie George could argue she's in the well side for her fielding. And yes, she may be frustrated that she couldn't complete the catch fully. She saved six. Swung away wonderfully well hit again. She just, that is brilliant. Catch! Shouts of catch it, but absolutely safe. And so safe it's gone to the boundary. It's a strange angle from where we are here in the pod, and I just wondered if that was actually finding a fielder, but she's placed it perfectly, Eve Jones. 
Yep, hit that cleanly. Just going to be the one bounce. It's just sat up, and Verma's looking for that. She's looking for length, she's looking for width. She got both. Haley Matthews back into the attack. Wonderfully picked up again by Shafali Verma. Just a little flick of the wrists. And off it soars into the Birmingham sky. At Edge Baston. There's that little flick of the wrist again, and she's been fortunate as well as good enough to find the gap. Three occasions now in between those two fielders out there at uh, Deep Mid Wicket. What wonderful extension. That is a fabulous shot from Shafali Verma. Used all of her frame to get out and reach it. The connection so pure. That's high class. Wonderful. Stand there and admire it, Shafali Verma. All the way it goes. Now that smile is broad. By any team now, 46 on the board. And most of them, 36 in fact, off this wonderful bat of Shafali Verma. That is something I love to see and want to see more of. Maybe just the fingertips. Oh, you catch it! Oh, past the fingertips of Matthews as well. Verma may be leading a little bit of a charmed life. So free hit. Hit it where you want. Straight down the ground. Lovely shot. Lovely shot. Free hit or not. That is a super shot. And absolutely creamed it straight down the ground. A lovely one bounce. She goes again. And this time she finds deep square and she finds a half century. Been a tough tournament for us so far, and that's perhaps one of the reasons why the team are at the bottom of the table. But uh, if she fires as she has done today, any team that she's in has a decent chance of winning. Towards that, that light there, so helped on its way. There's not really much uh, any of the Welsh fire bowlers can do at the moment to contain uh, Shafali Verma. Switched on there, mind you, it was a, a, a rank long hop. It was dragged down, and Shafali Verma, whatever form she's in, she's not going to miss out on that. And it just dragged down, just set herself. They've come up with no answers while she fire with the ball. That's the shot I love. Lovely shot. We've seen a, a couple of straight drives, we've seen another extra cover drive, and we've seen that a lot. Katie George. Bit of desperation in the field. Even she can't stop another boundary. Extra cover, mid off, down the ground, full extension. It brings up the hundred off just 53 deliveries. Terrific shot. How, how come these are down near the bottom here? Lovely shot. Again, almost waiting for it. Sitting back. Length is exactly what she wants. So anything you can do, Shafali, I can do just as well. Further evidence that uh, she loves playing down the ground. Lovely straight back shot again. And again, hit firmly. Square of the wicket this time. 12 now, just 59 balls. has now been reached. 124 and 50 for Eve Jones. I mean, it's been a quite splendid one. With a decent amount of runs, she's probably overtaken Amy Jones now as the Birmingham Phoenix leading run score. In the air. Clear he goes back but won't get there. Shafali Verma finishes it off in style. It's been a quite magnificent run chase from Birmingham Phoenix. Without the two points here, they'd be saying goodbye to their fans here at Edgbaston without giving them a win. But in their very last home game, they've uh, won the match. They've destroyed Welsh fire.